All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We just got 2019.5.1. If you don't know what that is, that is the latest software that Tesla just announced started rolling out yesterday. I just received it on my car and we're gonna run through it and sh look into everything that it has to offer, including sentry mode, dog mode, uh, the blind spot detection, and so forth. So let's take a look at the release notes first. First is all about sentry mode. It continuously monitors your car's surroundings while it's locked and parked. When enabled, the car automatically enters the standby state with its cameras and sensors remain powered to detect potential threats and trigger an appropriate response, either alert or alarm. It tells you how to enable it. If a minimal threat is detected, such as someone leaning on your car, sentry mode switches to the alert state, displaying a message on your touchscreen indicating that cameras are recording. I'm sure some of you have seen that image on Reddit. If a major threat is detected, such as someone breaking a window, which is a big problem in the Bay Area, sentry mode switches to the alarm state. In this state, the alarm activates the audio system generates a loud and unexpected sound. The message on the touchscreen increases maximum brightness and you receive a notification on your mobile app. To save the video clip captured in sentry mode, it's basically just like normal dash cam. You go ahead and hit the camera button on your top right screen and it will save it. Uh, it does require you to have at least 20% battery to operate. If your battery falls below 20%, sentry mode will be deactivated and you will be alerted from your phone. It does note here that sentry mode is designed to enhance the security of your car, but cannot protect your car from all possible threats. Shameless plug, drop lock. <laughs> um, all right, so moving into dash cam. Dash cam now, instead of just the front camera, you get access to the side cameras as well, which is awesome, uh, but you don't get access to the rear camera. Uh, then there's also dog mode. This is awesome. Uh, dog mode keeps your pet comfortable while letting people passing by know that they are safe and the climate is on. It will also show you what the temperature is and it tells you how to enable dog mode. There's also blind spot warning chime. So now not only do the side lanes show up as red, but it will also alert you with an audible alert and auto folding mirrors based on location. So now when you arrive home, your mirrors automatically fold uh, when you get home. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna look at is under controls, under settings, safety and security. If you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see the first one here is sentry mode. If we go ahead and click on the eye, it gives you a lot about sentry mode, allows your vehicle to be aware of its surroundings while parked by using its sensors, microphones, cameras, and computer. So this is interesting. While active, sentry mode evaluates the risk of theft or vandalism and records video activates visual and auditory alarms and sends you mobile notifications as necessary uh, and then it tells you that you need at least 20 percent or greater so let's go ahead and turn on sentry mode okay guys so i activated sentry mode uh you're probably wondering why this is covering up the side camera well sentry mode utilizes the front cameras in the windshield as well as the side marker cameras i've covered this up so that i can move here without triggering sentry mode and i can show you how exactly sentry mode works uh, i'm in an area where the front camera can't detect me uh, but if i take this off i just want to show you the angle at which sentry mode detects you at uh, as i move back and if i'm in next to the car like this you'll see sentry mode was triggered you can tell because the headlights flash and if you come on right over here for those of you who have seen it, this is what the screen looks like. I've rolled down the window so that way you can actually see the screen instead of seeing the reflection. Uh, now, with sentry mode activated, motion inside the car does nothing. There is no motion detection. So if you leave your window open and someone reaches in and does whatever they have to do, nothing will happen other than you being left with some nice footage of the criminal doing that from the cameras. Uh, now. Now that it's activated, if we, let's just go ahead and uh, stick this here. I gotta be ready to uh, turn off the alarm, but let's say if somebody was, the car does talk about leaning on the car. Uh, oh, that's to turn on sentry mode, but let's say the car was being rocked. Nothing happens, uh, but the minute you want to, uh, I'm not gonna break my glass, but if it detects any banging, It's very, very loud. It's currently 9.30 at night and I don't want to disturb the neighbors. So that is exactly what happens when it detects a threat like banging on the glass or anywhere on the car. So 
uh, now what we're gonna do is a uh, sentry mode is activated uh, what I want to show is that it does say that if you're leaning on the car this will trigger the car uh, but that actually does not work it's actually more of motion so let's go over here I'm gonna go ahead and cover up or actually no I don't even need to cover it up none of the cameras are covered up I'm gonna go ahead and rearm the car and I'm gonna lean on the car here. You'll notice sentry mode is not activated. Uh, you'll be able to tell because you'll see the headlights flash and nothing. I'm doing this, I'm, that time, it, but I'm guessing that it was the front camera. So let's go ahead and uh, try this from the rear of the car. So I'm going to rearm the car or relock the car sentry mode is not on uh, and from the rear of the car i'm jumping i'm shaking i'm shaking the hell out of the car nothing is happening sentry mode is not kicking on sentry mode is purely a motion detection system it's not detecting you leaning on the car in an area where the camera cannot see but from the side cameras, it does detect this entire area here. So as soon as I come around to the side of the car and I come here, you'll see the light, lights flash and you'll see sentry mode is activated. So that's in a nutshell, uh, a little bit about sentry mode. Uh, we did a live stream a little bit earlier and some of the questions were, you know, covering up the camera. Uh, that is true. If I do cover up, Let's, uh, let's try this out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the car and relock it. So sentry mode is not active right now. If I was a burglar and I was approaching the car from this angle, I could come right here, cover up the camera, thus now no longer being detected anywhere from the side of the car and do whatever I wanted with the car. But as soon as a threat is detected, sentry mode doesn't come on, but the alarm system will trigger, and I'll show you that. Obviously, anywhere you can bang the car, glass, side. So what just happened is the alarm came on, but there's no sound. And this is a bug that I've noticed as my initial testing is if uh, the alarm goes off, I disarm the car and walk away, thus arming the car again, and a threat is detected, the second time, no sound goes on with the alarm system. It just triggers the white bright screen. So this looks to be a bug that will probably be fixed uh, in the next uh, update. Okay, so sentry mode does also use the front camera and I'm gonna show you that right now. So as I'm walking near the front of the car, uh, you can see the distance uh, from how far away from the car I am. Uh, this is pretty much a normal distance, but you can see it triggers right here. Uh, I'm about maybe a foot away from the car uh, and sentry mode is activated. You can tell because the headlights uh, blinked and sentry mode is on on the screen. Okay, so right now we're going to simulate because it's really loud. I want to give you an idea of just how loud the alarm system is, but I'm going to have to roll up the windows. Um, and I put my cameraman inside the car and we're going to roll up the windows and uh, uh, enjoy. Thanks. Enjoy getting broken into. So uh, hopefully you didn't go deaf on that, but you just had to know it is loud, like really, really loud. Uh, no message from the wife, so I'm not in trouble. That's good. So after that test, my wife texted me and said, you're waking up the whole neighborhood. I said, that's good. It means the alarm system works. <laughs> good job, sentry mode. Okay, so next we're gonna look at is dog mode. Dog mode is initiated through your climate control. You'll notice at the top here, Previously, we had keep climate on as off and on. Uh, now we've got 
dog mode here on the right. And the only difference between on and dog mode is that dog mode keeps the screen and the air on and keep climbing on just keeps the air on. So put it to dog mode, set your temperature to be whatever you like. Let's say it's 72 because it's cold out. Uh, and I'm going to exit the car. My cameraman's gonna stay here and act as if the dog, to show you what it looks like. Yes, thanks. So you'll notice that in really big writing here on the screen, it says my owner will be back soon. It's really cute. There's a dog wagging his tail. It looks like a balloon dog. And it says, don't worry, the heater's on and it's 70 degrees or 71 degrees, whatever you set the temperature to be. Uh, this is really handy and really cool for people with dogs uh, keeping the windows closed and so forth. Now, uh, a good question is, is if I lock the car, obviously you would as you walk away, the car is locked, dog mode is activated. What about sentry mode? What happens to sentry mode? Well, I'm now near the car. Sentry mode just got activated and sentry mode comes up on the screen. It's still recording me. So your dog is still inside the car. The air is still on because the heater is on <laughs> and I can feel that. So it's still in dog mode, but sentry mode got activated. So they both go hand in hand and they both work, which is great. If I leave, away sentry mode has a timeout of one minute so after one minute of no motion detected from the side or front facing camera sentry mode will deactivate and it should go back to the dog screen so let's give it a minute and test that did it go off yep huh yep and yes. the, and it beeps too so you can tell the user is the dog the... screen back up? No. Yes? No. Okay, so we had it in dog mode. Uh, sentry got activated, but uh, the the dog mode screen did not come back up on the screen. Uh, is the air still on? It feels like it is. Okay, so the air is still on, the dog is still safe, but now there's no communication to somebody who may have walked up to your car to peer inside to see that a dog is inside and activated sentry mode, walked away, uh, and if somebody else comes and sees that there's a dog in your car, doesn't know that the dog is safe. So it looks like sentry mode and dog mode don't work perfectly yet. Maybe that'll be fixed in a future software. All right, so the next thing I wanna show is the geolocation window folding. So under quick controls in the settings, if you go under fold, if you click on fold, you'll see right here, it says always fold mirrors and then at this location. So you need to be at the location and when you click that, it just saves it automatically. So now, because I'm in my garage at home, it will auto fold when I get to this location again. All right, so uh, I just remembered we should turn on the blind spot detection mode. So I think it's under autopilot. And, uh, oh, yep, there it is. And it's auto actually automatically turned on already. Blind spot warning chime. So that's on. So let's let's go take a drive on Mars. Of course, when I get on, there's nobody. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate autopilot. Autopilot is on. Uh, I'm going to pass this truck here. The signal. No sound detected. I'm slowing down. Everything is showing up as red. What? Oh, okay. He moved, but no sound. No blind spot detection sound is coming on when testing. So let's try it again. Here's another car. I'm not an autopilot. I'm going to initiate a signal. He's right next to me, and I'm not sh there. Now he's red, um, and still no sound. I think he's trying to raise you too. So it looks like it's not working. Yep, so it's not changing the lanes and it's actually getting really close to the cars next to us and no blind spot detection chime, which is kind of concerning. That was one thing I was really looking forward to seeing, no blind spot chime. Again, just to confirm, we have it turned on it is right here, blind spot warning chime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off and let's turn it back on. Maybe it just needed to be turned off and on to test. No sound. And then after they pass, it allows you to change the lanes. Uh, so it looks like no blind spot warning chime activated as of 
this software release. Uh, bug number two. Okay, so we, we just tried to test out sentry mode again and it's not working. So I wanted to check uh, if we go under safety, sentry mode was turned off. So this does confirm exactly what everyone thought is that sentry mode does need to be turned on every single time you park. Kind of annoying. Uh, Hopefully Tesla fixes that and gives an option to keep it on. But uh, yeah, every time you turn off your car uh, and leave, you gotta make sure that you turn on sentry mode. That sucks. Okay, cool. Well, we just pulled up to the house. Uh, I haven't even, the garage door hasn't triggered yet, uh, but my side mirror is just triggered and initiated. Now keep in mind, I did program it while I was inside the garage. So it knows that I'm in the vicinity and it folded before entering the garage. So auto fold mirrors worked. Good job. Hey guys, I just wanted to kind of summarize the entire video for those of you who don't want to watch the whole thing. You just kind of want a quick summary of the latest software update for the Tesla, which includes sentry mode, dog mode, uh, the blind spot detection, the dash cam footage of left, right, and front, uh, and so forth. So overall, sentry mode is good, but there are a couple of issues that we experienced. Uh, so two things, sentry mode covers the front camera and the side cameras. It detects motion on the side, it detects motion on the front, starts recording. Uh, in our testing, we saw that there was recording uh, even when sentry mode wasn't activated, so almost like it's always monitoring, which is kind of nice. Uh, we did also notice that uh, when the side of the car was struck, uh, or, or banged on that the alarm kicked in and the alarm kicked in very nicely and very loud. However, on repeated attempts, the second time and third time, the alarm kicked in, but no sound was audible. So really the alarm didn't kick in. Looks like a bug that could be fixed in the next release. Um, I also wrote uh, dog mode. A uh, dog mode works amazingly well. However, dog mode coupled with sentry mode, uh, if somebody were to come up next to the car to look inside the car and see your dog and read the sign, great, but it would kick on sentry mode. Sentry mode times out after about a minute. So after no detection is uh, detected, sentry mode goes off. However, when it goes off, it doesn't return you back to the dog mode, thus not notifying anybody coming up to your glass that your dog is safe and sound. The air continues to flow and maintain the temperature, but the dog screen goes off, which is a very crucial thing to notify people uh, worried about your pet. Um, I, I made some notes on everything. Um, sentry mode does need to be turned on every time you park. So it's not something that you just turn on and you always have it active. It is not always active. It's something that you need to turn on every time you park your car. So it's a good thing to remember that. Um, uh, in, when driving, the blind spot detection as of right now, the release that I have, did not chime to alert. It still showed the lane as red. It still showed the car in the adjacent lane as red, but did not chime to let me know that somebody was in my blind spot. And those are really some of my initial uh, feedback and thoughts and experience on testing the the new release. Uh, the file footage is kind of messy and all over the place. Uh, I'll. Uh, I, uh, it took me a little bit to find what file I was looking for. Uh, I did upon putting in, after updating the, uh, updating to the new software, I did have to reformat my drive because it was not reading the drive. It just showed up as a gray X. Uh, after reformatting it and plugging it back in, it then started working uh, with all the cameras. But the organization is still pretty messy and you really kind of have to look around. Um, but it does label them as a side right uh, repeater, left repeater, and front uh, cameras so that you know what they are. Uh, but, you know, like I said, finding the right files you're looking for is a little bit tricky. And overall, that's everything that there is with the latest software update. As I come across more things, I'll let you guys know. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for viewing my video. It's late, I gotta get some sleep. I just wanted to get this video out there and hopefully give you guys a first-hand peek at what this software update looks like. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, if you like the videos I'm creating, 
hit this with a thumbs up. Also, turn on your notifications so you know as soon as I post new videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram, and I'll catch you guys next time. Remember to fuel on electricity. Later.